we have like a full, a pretty full season since we didn't get last year. Ramapo High School athlete Lauren Actor is a two sport athlete. Basketball in the winter, softball in the spring. I'm a little biased towards basketball just because I'm going to play that in college. The high school senior says she started getting scouted entering her junior year. And then I visited the college luckily before COVID so I got to see it in person. The fact that many current juniors and seniors didn't have that same opportunity because of the pandemic is one of the reasons Senator Paul Sarlo sponsored the Bridge Year Pilot Program, which Governor Murphy signed into law in June of 2020. SATs were shut. The ability to take their uh, uh, boards were being closed. College visits were being closed. So this started as an education component. Um, and then it expanded also when all of spring high school sports were canceled. That is a very critical year for um, juniors, for them to be recognized on the bigger stage. How will it work? A student will opt into the program when they're a senior to develop an academic and athletic plan. They will only be able to participate in spring sports. It's for the current senior class and it's for the current junior class. They have to fulfill their high school requirements after four years. Um, they just they will graduate. They just won't receive their physical diploma. So there's connectivity to the school in each semester of the bridge year. Participating students must take between nine and 12 credits during the fall semester. Those credits may be host high school credits, credits from the county college of the county in which the host high school is located or a combination thereof. In the spring semester, participating students must receive all credits from the county college. They then could apply to a four year college of their choice. They could stay at that community college. It's good because it's going to help some kids. But high school athletic director Ron Anello says he has concerns for both high schoolers and bridge year students. Potentially a 19 year old who should be a college freshman playing against maybe a 16 year old. I'm concerned about the, uh, you know, the kid who takes the bridge year and comes back and maybe doesn't play. Maybe he gets, you know, he gets beat out by a, an underclassman or the bridge year kid who comes back and a kid that's waited two or three years to play, now he's not playing because the bridge year kid came back and took his spot. With 40 years in education, Anello says he anticipates issues having to be worked out on a case-by-case -case basis. So far, though, demand isn't high in his district. We have two students that have shown interest, and we're a two-high school district. How many people play in the spring season, do you think? Uh, the spring season, we're probably in the 450 range. That's why, hey, if it works for that one kid, or two kids, six kids, that's great. Right. I don't think we're going to hear that a 1,000 kids did this in the state. It's a cool opportunity for kids who are considering taking a gap year or they are going to stay close to home. Anello says if this pandemic has taught us anything, it's learning how to change things on the fly, a skill we may use for many years to come. I'm Leah Mishkin for NJ Spotlight News.